Are you looking for desserts for the holidays? No worries, they are here. Let me give you an advice. Make those desserts a day before and focus on the other stuff. Join me because the desserts are ready and the tree is already lightened. So now after looking into the ingredients, we're going to make two desserts. So make sure they check the ingredients and the method of cooking in the description below later. The first dessert is going to be pastry with bananas, mascarpone, maple syrup and walnuts for everybody to share. And the second one is going to be eggnog cheesecake with Oreo cookies as a base in individual cups. Let's start by prepping the dough for the banana because it's going to be really simple. We're going to start with 20 ml of warm water. We're going to put all the yeast inside, a little bit flour and a little bit sugar. Whisk it. We're doing this to check that the yeast actually alive and also allow them to activate faster. Into a bigger bowl, we're going to add all the flour, about 80 grams of sugar, baking powder, and a pinch of salt. Using a fork, mix it and bring it to the edge, creating a hole in the middle. To the hole, we're going to add about 150 to almost 200 milliliters of milk and the yeast that we checked. You can see that we have already bubbles coming on top. This is an indication that the yeast is actually activated. I'm going to add everything. We're going to add a little bit vegetable oil and we're going to add one egg. Now we can start whisking and bringing the flour to the middle. When you have all the dough already almost incorporated, now we can lose the fork and start kneading with the hands. Now when the dough is already incorporated, plus or minus, we're going to take it out and start kneading it on the table. We really want to knead it for about five minutes. Beautiful. When the dough is come together and it's already kneaded for five minutes at least, we're going to bring everything to the center, flip it over and knead it a little bit more. So we're going to lock all the layers under and create a nice ball like this. Beautiful. Now, ball. Oil, a little bit, the bowl inside, make sure you cover all the dough with the oil, we're going to let it poof. Now after our dough is already rose for about 40 minutes, one hour, I gave it like 50, we're going to start rolling it and filling it with the mascarpone, nuts and the maple syrup. So for that we will need to crush the walnuts. Inside the bag, crush it. We're going to use one third of this mascarpone for this recipe and two thirds for the eggnog cheesecakes. So, we're going to put one third of the mascarpone inside the bowl and put a little bit maple syrup. We're going to add the walnuts as well mix everything together we are going to slice the bananas with mandolin if you don't have a mandolin you can do it with a knife but if you're looking to buy one you're going to have a link in the description below so make sure to check it out on amazon site where i bought this one and you're going to have a wider version as well so we're going to slice it three four millimeters each piece and after that we're going to put it inside the dough now we're going to start rolling the dough a little bit flour Beautiful. So now we're going to cut circles, roughly three inches, something like that, mm. seven centimeters. We're going to cut the circles. We're going to fill it a little bit with the filling and a couple of pieces of banana and start shaping it. And we have a tray here that we're going to 
grease with butter and don't worry if the dough seems to you that it's thin because we have yeast in it and it's going to rise our circle stretch it a little bit two three pieces of the banana a little bit from the mascarpone and the nuts close it into half don't seal it and just wing it like this and with the fingers seal it beautiful we actually want to see the bananas coming up because they're going to start caramelizing in the oven and they're going to start melting so we're going to put it into the tray and from the middle build it outside if you have a round form it's also good i'm probably going to do it twice because i have also this dough to roll so we're going to knead it for one two minutes let it sit for 10 minutes and after that you can roll it again and make more circles from it so let's start working on those trays take the dough stretch it a little bit some of the bananas again mascarpone close it and attach it beautiful so we're going to find a place for this guy beautiful so we have two trays now we're going to let them prove even more 40 minutes almost one hour we're going to turn the oven already on our banana pastry it's already proofed and it's beautiful the oven already preheated to 180 degrees celsius or 360 fahrenheit we're going to take egg yolk brush them and put them in the oven 15 to 20 minutes beautiful now while they are still hot we're going to glaze them with maple syrup which is going to give them nicer color and also more flavor we're going to start walk on the eggnog cheesecake and it's going to be a couple of steps here separate from each other and after that everything is going to come together so we're going to start by making the eggnog and for that we're going to need to put cream and milk again all the measurements and the method of cooking also in the description below we're going to create brown butter so we're going to melt half of the butter put it back and the other half we're going to keep cooking it until it's becoming brown and nice and you're going to start smelling nice smell of nuts this is the moment when you take the butter out of the pan let it chill and add it also to the cookies so it's going to give a nice flavor to the crust when you start seeing the foam this is an indication the butter is almost at the stage of browning keep stirring it beautiful now it's brown take it out beautiful let it chill don't put your fingers inside but you can smell the nutty flavor that comes from the butter from actually roasting it in the pan so we're going to keep it use it in the cookies we have the milk and the cream already almost boiling and we're going to add them to the eggs with the sugar yolks sugar with a whisker whisk it Now let's put this into the pot and start cooking it on medium heat until it's going to thicken. If you need, take it from the heat and keep stirring it. Always keep stirring it. Beautiful. Now it's thickened and it's nice. Turn off the stove. Keep stirring it one to two minutes till it's going to chill down a little bit. Now we're going to add nutmeg. You can add cinnamon, you can add other spices that you like to add to your eggnog. Let me know what spices you are using for your eggnog in the comments below also. Let's pour it into a bowl and let it chill completely. Meantime, we're waiting for the eggnog to chill down. We're going to work on the 
Oreo cookie base for the cheesecake and the whipped cream that we're going to mix with the eggnog itself. I'm using a brown mixer, hand blend mixer. You have the chopper, you have the whisker that we are also going to use for the whipped cream and you have different other sets for it. So if you want to check it out, you have a link in the description below. So we're going to crush the cookies and I'm crushing the cookies with the filling inside because in my opinion the Oreo cookie it's a real cookie also with the filling some people are taking the filling out but in my opinion it's part of the cookie so i prefer to keep it we're going to do three cups and one plate you can decide whatever you want to do if you want to do it in a cups or if you want to do it in a tray or in a bowl to serve it and everybody going to dig into it we're going to put it in a bowl see that we don't have actually big chunks first of all we're going to add the brown butter you can see how nice and brown it is and now we're going to add the melted butter I'm going to add just a little bit not everything mix it when you're going to start seeing the big chunks this is the indication that you have more than enough butter to actually create the crust that you want and usually the ratio that I'm using 200 grams of cookies or regular cookies with 80 milliliters of melted butter usually 50-50 brown butter and regular butter you can use just melted butter instead of doing the brown butter so it's going to be a little bit more easier so to this we're going to add small pinch of salt just for the kickness mix it put it in the cups create a small hole in the middle so we're going to pour the mousse inside for the plate just put it in the middle and press it a little bit now we're going to put them in the fridge, let them sit and chill. So we have our eggnog base already chilled and it's much thicker. Usually for this recipe I'm making it a little bit more thicker than usual. Why? Because we're going to mix it with the whipped cream so it's not going to be too loose and it's actually going to firm in the fridge for the next day when you're going to actually serve it. So we will need two bowls, one bowl that we're going to start whipping the cream and whisk it with a bowl mixer with the whisker attachment so come closer take a look when you start seeing the bubbles we're going to start adding two tablespoons of sugar gradual beautiful so let's detach it beautiful whipped cream so take a bigger bowl pour all the eggnog into it and start folding the whipped cream into it and the whipped cream is incorporated let's add more of it until we finished adding all the whipped cream beautiful now we need to add our mascarpone cheese usually most of the people are adding the mascarpone cheese with the base of the mousse before adding the whipped cream but I like to in the same bowl that we had the whipped cream just whisk really good the mascarpone and after that fold it also into the mousse now we're going to add a little bit berries on the bottom to surprise the guests and also after it's going to chill put it on top sorry but i have to try you know how they're doing the face i don't need to do the face it's good you have to try it yourself so make sure to check the recipe in the description below now we're going to let them chill overnight ideally so now let's decorate a little bit the eggnog cheesecake with nutmeg berries a little bit crushed oreo cookies and that's it and the pressy banana is already waiting so let's go and this is how you make beautiful desserts for the holiday easy and simple and you can make them even a day before so it's going to be much simpler to work on the main course so what is left to do like the tree let me know what you think about those desserts in the comments below give those desserts a thumbs up if you like them and don't forget to subscribe if you're not subscribed yet because more of those recipes are coming up every week thank you very much for watching i'm andre and this is think of food